no, I don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. Hello? No, this is not Feinblatt's Deli. Hello? No, I don't want a subscription to Pigeon Breeders Monthly. I already have one. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Yes, I know I'm out of shape, and I still don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. John's trying to come up with an idea for a new comic book for Mr. Barker. Huh? The phone again! Oh, it's not going well. I don't care who you are or what you want. Whatever it is, I'm not going to buy it. Stop calling me, you idiot! Stop! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Barker. <clears throat> I just called to see how that new idea is coming, Arbuckle. It's... it's... I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. The phone keeps interrupting me. I can't think. John can't think. There's late-breaking news. Oh, I understand. Why don't you do what I do, Arbuckle? Get away. Go where there's no phone. I'd love to, but, well, I can't afford a trip just now. Hey, I just acquired an old house up in the mountains. My business manager bought it cheap as an investment. I haven't been to see it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a phone. I can go up there and work and I won't be interrupted all the time? <laughs> Great! Make arrangements for Arbuckle to stay in that house I just bought. But isn't that house supposed to be haunted? This is great. I have to go pack. Oops. <laughs> Forgot to eat my pizza. Hey, you can forget to eat your pizza, but I won't forget to eat your pizza. Oh. The phone won't bother me. Nothing will bother me. And we won't leave until I get a terrific idea for a new comic book I can present to Mr. Barker. No. I'm not worried about running out of food. You know that catering truck that's always down the street at the construction site? Uh-huh. While John was packing, I added on a little. Well, take a look. Mr. Barker's secretary said the key was under the doormat. Hey, don't act so happy, Odie. I happen to know that this is... a haunted house. Just take a look at the title of this episode. Could I have a copy of the script we're doing now, please? The Garfield Show, episode 202, The Haunted House. <laughs> Come on, we better get inside and rest up. Looks like a big chase scene on page nine. Thanks. Oh, this is great. There's no phone to ring and interrupt me. I can work without being disturbed. I don't have an idea yet, but once I get one, watch out! <laughs> oh, don't worry, Pop. Ghosts can't hurt you. They can only make you hurt yourself. <laughs> Field, is that your stomach rumbling again? Oh, uh, uh, just in case, let's see what the internet has about ghosts. Just a second. I'm scolding the poochier for waking me up when I was dreaming about Manicotti. As I was saying, you woke me up with North. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, do you remember I said we had a big chase scene on page nine? Uh-huh. This is page nine. <laughs> I still don't have a good idea for a new comic book. But at least the phone isn't ringing and there's nothing to disturb me. Ah! Except for my nutty cat and dog. Huh? What are you two doing? You two are acting like you saw a ghost. Huh? Huh? There's no such thing as ghosts. But he's right here. Open those overly large eyes of yours and take a look. He can't see me. I know there's no such thing as ghosts because I looked it up on the internet. And nothing you read on the internet is ever wrong. <laughs> now leave me alone so I can work. I still need an idea. Oh my. You saw the ghost. Uh-huh. I saw the ghost. Uh-huh. Why didn't he see the ghost? Because he couldn't. Human beings can't see ghost cats. We're only visible to other cats and pets of extremely low intelligence. I have to haunt this house for all eternity, or until I get a human to believe in those ghost cats. Well, isn't haunting a house a good job? No! It's boring. Especially when you go 50, 60 years with nobody inhabiting the house. I want to be with my friends, the other ghost cats. They've gone on to another, more interesting place. Huh? I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to scare that friend of yours until he believes in ghost cats. And I'll help you. Come on. Hmm. Maybe a superhero who throws coleslaw at people. No, it's been done. Okay, I've got an idea. Now here's what you do. You come and send me a Yeah, that'll make him believe in ghost cats. <laughs> That's cute, Garfield. But it's not going to make me believe in ghosts. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield. <laughs> 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 He's never gonna believe. We're not giving up. You need to be with your friends, and I need to be where there's Chinese food. <laughs> you can stop making those silly noises, Garfield. There are no ghosts. Uh -huh. uh... Please don't get my new shirt wrinkled, Garfield. And there are still no ghosts. <laughs> Very cute, Garfield. But there are still no ghosts. It says so on the internet, remember? It's no use. He'll never believe in ghost cats. Oh, yes, he will. I'm going to have a brilliant idea. You are? Yes. Let me just check the script and see what it's going to be. Uh, can I borrow a copy of the script for this episode again, please? Scene 19, scene 20. Hey, that's a good idea I'm gonna have. Follow me. Thanks. John's not gonna believe in ghost cats until he sees a ghost cat. But he cannot see me. No, but he'll see me. <laughs> Oh, it's no use. I'll just have to tell Mr. Barker I don't have an idea for a new comic book.
So I'm up here in the mountains getting a look at this house I bought. One of my cartoonists is staying here and I... No! Oh! Ah, Buckle, what's the meaning of... A ghost cat! A spooky, terrifying ghost cat going boo, boo, boo! Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. And I haven't been able to come up with... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. A ghost cat? That's a terrific idea for a new comic book. It is? Kids like ghosts, kids like cats. Ah, <laughs> Buckle, you're brilliant. So, according to the script, John sold his boss a new idea, and our friend the ghost cat is freed from haunting this place. Ah, <sighs> a happy ending. Right. But not happy enough. Huh? Wide shot. Vito's pizza truck pulls up in front with loads of steaming hot pizzas for the clever cat. Hey, every script can use a few improvements here and there. Uh, -huh. uh keep scrubbing, Odie. <laughs> one cold and rainy stormy night. I know because I was there. Odie, no one cares if you were there. The point is that I was there. Okay, now where was I? Oh, right. The nightmare began with the arrival of some unannounced night visitor. Who could that be at this time of the night? Oh! Ah! It's Ivy! Are you gonna invite me in, Jonathan? Or am I expected to stand out here all night in the rain? I vote for all night out there in the rain. What a delightful <laughs> surprise, Aunt Ivy. Uh, please, come in. No. <laughs> um, uh, what brings you here? Suitcase, not a good sign. Uh -uh. The tree fell on the power line outside my house. They said it might take a week before power returns, so here I am. Ah! Huh? I see you still have those two mangy creatures. Full of germs, you know. Yes, yes, full of germs, very contagious, and sickening germs. Meow. Well, at least it covers some of her face. with those cute fuzzy bunny slippers you bought me. <laughs> They're alive! <laughs> Ridiculous. No one with half a brain could actually wear such pathetic looking slippers. Uh, actually, I happen to own a pair just like them. You just made my point. That's an IV one, John nothing. <laughs> bunny slippers. Bah, people should wear sensible slippers like mine. Slippers that look like giant carrots. <laughs> Aunt Ivy's right. This movie is silly. Let's call it a night. Hey, just when it was getting interesting. Aunt Ivy, uh, why don't you take my bedroom? I was already planning on it. Mm. Just make sure those animals sleep outside. They're filthy and germ-ridden and... Ah! Odie! You fetched my bunny slippers. Uh, hey, Aunt Ivy, don't they look just like the ones from the movie? Ah! I am not going to bed until you get rid of those abominable things. <laughs> Relax, Aunt Ivy, it was just a movie. Get rid of them! <sighs> All right, but bunny slippers can't hurt you. No. 
But having a fat lady fall on you can. Yeah. <laughs> Set one paw in my room, and you'll be sorry you ever met me. It's a little late for that. Night, guys. Bodie, fetch. <laughs> Is everything all right? The bunny slippers are after me! <laughs> They're not there anymore. There's nothing out there, Aunt Ivy. I know what I saw. It must be your two mangy pets playing tricks on me. Garfield and Odie? Do you really think they do something rotten to you? <laughs> I must have been dreaming. I thought I saw. <sighs> Night, Aunt Ivy. Good night, guys. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. Maybe these earplugs will make that possible. What? Have to leave so soon? We'll hurry back. Like around the turn of the century. Hey, you guys deserve an Oscar for the best special effect. We had a deal. Oh, sorry. Huh? Here you go, Squeak. This was a good deal. You got anyone else you want scared out of here? Wow, you guys are getting really good at this. Garfield, we're not doing anything. The bunny slippers. And Ivy! Garfield! Odie! <laughs> Are you guys trying to tell me something? Behind you! the police hello yeah My right like they're gonna believe a guy who calls up and says I want to report a pair of evil bunny slippers what give me the address we'll be right over Jacobs we have a 743 on our hands oh no evil bunny slippers let's roll be careful man remember how you've been trained for just this situation area is secure Roger your tax dollars at work. Hey, I know you. You're that mad scientist who once sucked my cat into the TV set. Huh? The animators are reusing another character design from last season. Do you know anything about these sinister bunny slippers? Of course! I'm a mad scientist! We know everything! 
But we kept it secret so as to not cause any discomfort to the population. How very thoughtful of you. The bunny slippers only come alive on the blue moon nights, which happen once every 2.55546 years. So bunny slippers come alive on blue moons? Not only that, they also tend to... <laughs> tend to grow at an alarmingly exponential rate. Not to worry. Daylight will return them to their harmless original selves. And according to my calculation, the sun will rise in exactly five hours. <gasps> five hours? The entire town will be destroyed in five hours. We've got to do something. <gasps> Goodness gracious! This could indeed do the trick! The All Night Tanning Salon? That's on the other side of town! We need some kind of bait! And there's the perfect bait standing right in front of you. Why are you all staring at my beloved carrot slippers? Get me down! Let me loose! Or I'll have you arrested! Tanning salon. For my vacation, I'd like to go somewhere that's as cute as I am. But there isn't any place that cute. Garfield, what are you doing here? Normal. You know how I'm always telling you to leave. Well, this time it's for your own good. But I haven't finished my tropical style fur tan. Whoa. Please, I'm just a cute, innocent. Listen. Meow. 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 Why did you do it? I think it's time for a little summer glow. And from their throats came this howl, a wailing shriek, half of horror and half of fear, utterly inhuman and. Garfield, you are totally making this up. Absolutely not. That's normal. All true. Every word of it. The following day, the police went door to door and collected every pair of bunny slippers in the neighborhood, just to be on the safe side. But of course, the best part was... After what you and that cat of yours did to me, I'm never coming back. Not in a million years. That means like about eight weeks. Hey, but I'll take what I can get. So until then, we live happily ever after. Uh, great, Garfield, but isn't that another blue moon like in your story? Who cares? The bunny slippers are all gone, right, Odie? 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 <laughs> Just about to take a test call. How brave Ready? are you? Here's your first situation. A poisonous snake is coming at you. I'm not afraid. A giant grizzly bear is attacking. I'm not afraid. A man-eating lion is loose. I'm not even afraid of a cat-eating lion. An army of monsters and werewolves and vampires is attacking. I am absolutely, definitely, utterly not afraid. Oh, Garfield, my nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming to visit. But 
Lock the door. Bar the windows. We have to move to another country. Help! Help! <laughs> Snakes and bears and monsters can only eat you. These are John's nieces. Don't you remember them from last season? Show 17? <laughs> Must be them. Whoa. We have to hide Odie under John's bed. Quick! Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, Uncle John. Hi, Uncle John! Great to see you, Minerva and Drusilla. No, I'm Minerva and I'm Drusilla. We're, We're Minerva and Drusilla. We want to play with the kitty cat. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie. Even if we have to stay under here the rest of our lives, I'm prepared. I knew John's nieces might come back someday, so I stored 25 crates of canned lasagna. Gee, I wish I'd have brought some for you. What can they do to us? They can dress us up in frilly doll clothes like they did last time. But I'm determined. I'm absolutely not going to let them do that to me again. No! Stop! Help! Don't! Call the Hitman Society! Call somebody! And the worst part is, I don't even look good in this color. Wait! Kitty cat! Bridal gown for you to try on! You'll be so beautiful! <laughs> This is not good. You ladies know how hard it is to run in high heels. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> badness. The kitty cat can fly. Let's dress him up as a flight attendant next. My, you're a plump one. Almost big enough for my oven. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cauldron. Is she a witch? She looks like a witch. Maybe I am, and maybe I'm not. But, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're uh, not. Uh, and, my, you're not exactly Miss Universe yourself, lady. Uh, girls, uh, let's let Mrs. Cauldron get home with her shopping, okay? Oh, thank you. And maybe you'll come and visit me sometimes, little lady. Hey. Let's take you girls inside and read you a story. Yeah, we want to hear a story about a witch. Yeah, we want to hear Hansel and Gretel. It's got a witch Okay, in Hansel and Gretel it is. Odie, huh? if you laugh at the way I look, if you so much as giggle. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Meow. He's right. <laughs> and so Hansel and Gretel followed the breadcrumbs to the house of the Wicked Witch. <gasps> the Wicked Witch invited them inside and offered them gingerbread. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Odie. We have to prepare to defend ourselves. That story can't last forever. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going on a spying mission to find out what the enemy is up to. <laughs> and so the evil witch tried to push Hansel and Gretel into the oven, but they were too fast for her. <laughs> Never mind the fortress. It wouldn't keep them out anyway. I've got a better idea. I need to go to the market so I can make dinner for our guests. Keep an eye on Drusilla and Minerva while I'm out, Garfield. I'm counting on you. You've made this mistake before. Where did you go? Oh. The kitty cat. It's this is the moment of truth, Puppy Face. We have to act fast. We have a nice prom dress for you to try on. Look, Drusilla. You're Drusilla. I'm Minerva. All right. I can't tell us apart. There's candy. Mm -mm, this is so good.
<laughs> Breadcrumbs like in the story. Mm. We'll lead them to Mrs. Cauldron's house. Me. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Come in. We'll have tea. I like tea. I want hot cocoa. Oh, come in. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> That'll keep him away while I do something of vital importance. <laughs> of course, a nap. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Mrs. Cauldron, such an odd lady. Always dressing up like a wicked witch. Hey, what if she is a wicked witch? Nah, there's no such thing, and besides, it isn't Halloween. <sighs> I think I'll just give me some good, good stuff. <laughs> Bubble, my fine potions. I just need to add some eye of newt, three ounces of raven toenails, <laughs> and the final ingredient, two identical bratty laces. Help! You mean old wicked witch! You wouldn't do this if our friend Garfield is here. Well, your friend Garfield isn't here. And even if he was, he'd be too fat and lazy to help you. Garfield, help! Where are you? Save us! You she's a wicked witch. She's a wicked witch. And she's going to do wicked witch things to John's nieces. I've just got to save them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do I? Garfield! Yes, I guess I have to. Save us! Help! This is it. Goodbye, Drusilla. I keep telling you, you're Drusilla. I thought I was Minerva. It doesn't matter. You're both ingredients. <laughs> I hand those annoying children. Hey, do I know how to make a big entrance or what? Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. I have a recipe that calls for a goat. Huh? <gasps> and just where do you think you're going to get a goat at this hour? <laughs> sure, do it the easy way. <laughs> oh! Drusilla and Minerva. The evil witch is putting them into the twin casserole. I have to save them. <laughs> Drusilla, Minerva, don't worry. Garfield's coming to save you. Don't put them into your recipe, Mrs. Cauldron. Don't. <gasps> oh, well, hello, Pussycat. Did you come to join us? We're having tea with Mrs. Cauldron, and we're learning all sorts of interesting things. <laughs> You knew it was a dream sequence all along. Why didn't you tell me? Thank 
Thank you for a lovely conversation, Mrs. Cauldron. Oh, and all the things you taught us. Oh, come back and visit us any time, dears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to get us, Garfield. Mrs. Cauldron convinced us we shouldn't make you play dress up anymore. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I guess everything turned out great after all. He'll make a great goat. Let's make him into a big one. I don't feel like lasagna for dinner tonight. For some reason, I have bleh, craving for old tin cans. Meow. <laughs>